Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ashley with Ashley Talks Movies. And I wanted to talk about something that was announced last week. And that is that Disney is adding an ad supported subscription tier to its Disney Plus streaming service. Now, not a ton of details have been released about this, but I did want to dive into what has been released and also talk about a couple of things that were shared just the other day. But before I get into all that, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up with all the videos that I'm posting here on this channel. Also feel free to jump into the comments and share your thoughts about this new Disney Plus ad supported tier. So Disney Plus has been around since November 2019. So it's still a relatively new streaming service, but since it's been around, it's always been ad free. But recently, as I said in my intro, Disney uh, announced that they're going to be adding an ad supported tier to the streaming service. Now, if you don't want ads, that's okay. There's still gonna be that option for you. But this is just an additional option that will have ads. So Disney has said that this new ad supported subscription tier is going to launch later this year in the US. And then it'll arrive internationally in 2023. So who knows, they might release this ad supported version around the same time that they had launched Disney Plus, maybe November, fall, something like that. We don't know, we just know late 2022. And in terms of pricing, the only thing Disney has said is that the ad supported tier is going to be cheaper than the standard Disney Plus, the one that is ad free. But what does that mean exactly? You know, are they going to, because the, st the standard version right now of Disney Plus, I'm not talking about bundles or anything like that, just the regular Disney Plus plan is $7.99 a month. So are they going to, and that's without ads. So are they going to then price the ad supported version cheaper than that, cheaper than the $7.99 a month? Or are they going to raise the price of the ad free version, the standard plan, and then price the ad supported version under that. So it'll be interesting to see what they do in terms of pricing. I shouldn't say it's surprising that Disney is doing this. I mean, you know, the term streaming wars often pops up whenever you talk about any streaming service because there's just so many companies that have launched a streaming platform or are planning to launch a streaming platform, right? So it's a very crowded field. And I think, you know, all of them are competing for subscribers and some of them are, you know, also looking in terms of revenue. So I think for Disney, it's, you know, a bit of both, right? You know, Disney has, since they launched Disney Plus, they've had a goal of reaching a certain number of subscribers by, I think it was like 2024. And I think it was like 230 million or something like that. That they wanted to like, target subscribers. Um, and so, you know, if they're looking at how do we get more subscribers to our platform, offering a cheaper version isn't a bad way to do that, um, especially when, again, there's so many other companies out there, so many other streaming services that are available to people, there's competition. Um, and then, of course, you know, if you're offering a cheaper version, of your service, adding ads means that you can generate revenue, right? There's tons of companies out there probably would love to be able to put ads in front of families and kids because uh, obviously, you know, with Disney, you're talking Disney Plus, that's the main sort of demographic for that streaming platform. So yeah, Disney can get ad revenue. Um, Consumers will have another option in terms of having a uh, cheaper option uh, if they want to get Disney Plus if they don't already have Disney Plus. So it, it, again, it's no surprise that uh, Disney would go this direction. But I did want to mention something that came out just the other day. Um, Disney CFO Christine McCarthy was participating in a uh, Morgan Stanley uh, tech media telecom conference. And uh, so she was speaking about a number of things about the company. 
And one of the things she touched on in the Q&A was Disney Plus. And uh, she mentioned ads, you know, the ad-supported version that they've announced. So she didn't share a ton of details about that offering, you know, nothing really beyond what has already was already announced in the in the news release that they sent out last week. But she did say, you know, if you're talking about ads, because I know for a lot of people, you're probably wondering, okay, if I do get the ad supported version of Disney Plus, even though it's cheaper, like how many ads are we talking about? Because, you know, sometimes some services, they just have way too many ads. And she did say that it was going to be um, a light ad load. Don't know what that means exactly, because I don't know what light means to Disney. But uh, so there's that. Again, not a ton of information has been released about this new ad-supported tier, but Disney has said that they're going to be releasing more information later on. And so hopefully, you know, that's when we'll, most of the questions that I've posed and maybe questions that you even have about this uh, new option will be answered. So if you want to share your thoughts on Disney Plus as well as the ad supported tier that's coming later this year, jump into the comments and share your thoughts. I want to know what all of you think about this and if you're going to um, maybe subscribe to Disney Plus now that there's going to be an ad supported version or maybe if you already have Disney Plus, maybe you're going to switch to the ad supported tier. Anyway, share your thoughts in the comments below. While you're here, like this video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this.